All right, gentlemen, so this is part two of this second street approach that I'm analyzing. Uh, in the first part, I did go over how I opened this girl up, how I laid in 10. I let her know, hey, I'm interested in you romantically. Uh, number three, we went into a story and we talked about a pizza spot, where I lived, blah, 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 bullshit, doesn't matter. And then now I'm laying in 10 again. So here I remind her, hey, we're having this good conversation, but this isn't about us being friends. This isn't about... Me being one of your boys, nah, 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 nah. This is about you and I getting to know each other man to woman. So that in the future, we either have sex or date. That's it. All right? So let's go on. Let's let's talk about this. Let's let's talk more about this. I mean, it happens. I was cutting my dog. Yeah, of course. Well, <laughs> I see a pretty girl. I'm going to have to stop. Is that why you're running right? up here? No, actually. <laughs> so what happened was. Beautiful. Again, she's uh, giving more shit tests. Giving more shit tests because she's interested. No, I, okay, I'll be honest. I did see you over there. I was running that way. Uh oh, -uh, really? Oh my god, yeah. <laughs> I'm like a sniper. Like, I can see it. You got a your shirt. I know. <laughs> That's why it's a, a workout shirt. You feel me? Okay. Yeah. Shit test again. You got a hole in your shirt. She's noticing all the little things about me. She's trying to figure out okay, is this guy worth my time? This girl's a. She's hot. A lot of you guys would, see she's a, would say she's a 10. To me, she's like a 8.5, 9. Uh, a lot of work done, but very sexy. And um, you'll see later on, she's uh, she's got some Eastern European in her, and I think some Spanish. So, super sexy girl. So, of course, she's used to the top of the top guys. So, she's going to shit test and shit test and shit test. To the last mile. I'm the type that drives a car to like 200,000 miles, like yeah. my dad, old school. Oh, God. Yeah. Not me. <laughs> Three years that I'm gone. I know, I know. I'm fucking... <laughs> no, but that's how my dad was. Yeah. So, I'm like a little old school. What's his ethnicity? My dad? What, yeah, what are you? Am I? Uh, I'm Latino. Are you Latino? Mexican? You're not Latino. Huh? Huh? I'm, uh, my mom's Mexican. My dad's Peruvian. Mm, I love Peruvian. Yeah? Where have you gone? Mario's is my favorite spot. Okay. Have you been yeah. to Mario's? Nah, where's that? Famous. Hi, for Brooke? Yeah. Thank you so much. Um, Mario's, it's like Hancock Park area, like Hollywood is. Okay, okay. Yeah. okay. Yeah, There's yeah. one spot over here I haven't tried though. There was one spot right here on the chair, but they went out of business over there by the Joe's Yeah, yeah. yeah. the it's, green sauce, that's like, I look for it. Oh, it's uh, a heat. That's the pepper. I actually know how to make it. Yeah? Yeah, I could. I'm, I kind of, kind of. Lomo Sotado? <laughs> you said it like a white girl right now. Sotado. I'm not Peruvian. Well, what are you? So... Always tease, guys. Always tease. I should have probably laid it on, on, on her a little bit more, but she said it sounded Tato. It sounded like a white girl. So let her know, hey, just because you hot doesn't mean I'm not going to give you shit, girl. I'm half Spanish, half Ukrainian. Okay. That's uh, Eastern Europe. I fuck wow, with Eastern Europe. it's hard. I fuck with Eastern European girls. Yeah. It's hard. Heavy. Anytime you can, anytime a girl gives, her, gives you her ethnicity and you can pinpoint it on a map, Gentlemen, study some geography. You sound smart as fuck. Right away, she's all like, damn, you're smart. Yeah, bitch. Like, what do you expect? You stand out so much more, gentlemen. And two, two things. Number one, a little geography helps. Number two, your vocabulary. The more your vocabulary uh, continues to advance, don't be afraid to pull out some words here and there to show her subtly that you're a smart dude. You don't got to be like, yeah, I'm a smart guy. No, no, no. She's going to know you're a smart dude. Based off the words you say, based off how you phrase your sentences, based off how you're able to communicate and use your hand gestures and really be comfortable and in the moment because it takes practice and it takes it takes repetition for somebody to be able to communicate properly. Gentlemen, it is more of a turn on than you think. You guys are a little bit more traditional. Like, in terms of you care how you look, obviously you got your lips up, you got your eyelashes. Called her out. She had her lips done. They're fucking fat. And she has her eyelashes done. I called her out. Women don't get called out all the time on this shit. I do it all the time. And they're like, oh shit, this guy notices everything. I said, hey, you got your you got your tits done. You got your lips done. You got your this done. Your nails done. I notice. And they're like, oh wow. And like, Baby girl, keep that shit up. That shit looks sexy as a motherfucker. They love that. Uh, like, <laughs> nails did it. You're talking about these natural lips. <clears throat> Act like I'm a child. Man. No, but I love that shit. You know what I mean? When a girl yeah, likes you, I'm pretty. I will pretty. always stay done up. Yeah. Yeah. That's, that's that's now she's qualifying again. I will always stay done up. Like daddy, hey, I'll, if you're mine, I'm always gonna be done up for you. Shit, I know that. 
I try to do the same thing, even though like right now I'm like, okay, so I slept in late and I was like, fuck, I need to do something, right? My cousin's I slept in so late, I got so drunk. Yeah, I, I did shrooms last night. So. Ooh, I love yeah. mushrooms. Damn, look at you. <laughs> I do. I told you trouble. Like, I'm like torn right now. I'm like, man, should I give this girl my number or should I just keep going? Honey. Now, I, I'm kind of like saying, you know what? Hey, you got to sell me, girl. You, you too much trouble. I don't know if this is even worth it. Should I even get your number or not? And I'm planning in her head. I'm gonna get your number at the end of this conversation. That's a mini close. Sounds like I would actually take your number. Man, oh, get the shit test. Now you act like I'd actually take take your number. That's good. She she's trying to hold some frame. Let's replay that. Keep going. Honey, you act like I would actually take your number. Man, oh, get the fuck out of here, <laughs> man. I'll tell you what, five, two, five, three. So I ignore it. Get the fuck out of here. You know you would. Like, whatever. Ignore it. Next co next combo. This is what I mean by lead. This is what you guys don't understand. Y'all get a shit test and y'all sit on it. Y'all get an it's like cells. Y'all get an objection and you sit on it. Just ignore that motherfucker. That shit doesn't matter. We're we're moving forward. You trying to put roadblocks in front of me? I don't see them. I'm going 100 miles per hour past them. And even if I, f I fuck up, I'm f I don't care. I'm going 100 miles past it. By the time I realize you realize I fucked up, we're already past and we're on to the next conversation. My one. There's a little, little platform here. Yeah, yeah, okay. okay. So, yeah, I, um... What do you I, do for a living now? I'll tell you how to... So here, the conversation was dying, and look, she kept going. She wants to keep... She's trying to figure out, figure me out, to, uh, too. Uh, still, fuck. First day, um, I'm the type that doesn't like to get out too much. That's why you try to read me. <laughs> stay mysterious, guys. Always stay mysterious. The, the, and the first question you're always going to get is, what do you do for a living? You say, I don't really, I don't really like saying that on the first encounter, maybe on our first date. Plus, you know, it's top secret information. I can't really give that out right now. A lot of times, the, girls will eat that shit up. They're like, what's top secret shit? Is he CIA, FBI? Their minds start running wild. And that's, this is what's key, is you want their imagination to run wild, guys. No matter how, here's the, here's the thing. No matter how hard you try to make yourself look cool, it is not cooler than the person she pictures in her head. I'm going to repeat that in another way. You are not, you can't make yourself come off more interesting than as interesting as she can make you in her head. So you might think, I'm going to come off interesting. I'm going to tell her my dad got a boat. I'm going to tell her I got this Gucci, Gucci fucking shoes, belt, whatever the fuck may be. Or you can just... Not say a word and have her think in her head, what does this guy drive? Does he drive an AMG, a Lambo? Just the way by the, by the way he talks, it sounds like he's he's successful. Even if it's not that, even if it's like this guy, this guy does something. I wonder what he does. Hmm. I, I, I wonder who he lives with, where he lives, what his place looks like, how big is how big his dick is. Like they think about this shit. Just because you, if you if you do not tell them. They think that because of how you are, your aura, the way you stand, the way you look at her, the way you use your hands and when you talk, the way you address her and call her out on her shit. That's why she's thinking all this shit. And this is key. Body language is key. This is why I tell everybody, a girl's got to feel you before you even say a word to her. Girls feel me before I say a word and I come up. They know, damn, this dude wants to fuck me. And that's the truth. How do you develop that body language? Shit. Quick plug. Check out www.grizzcave.com slash body hyphen language. www.grizzcave.com slash body hyphen language. This is how you develop your presence. How you develop the way people feel you the moment you walk in through the door. The way women feel you the moment you look them in the eye and stand right in front of them. All right, gentlemen, we have come up to 10 minutes, so I'm going to wrap this video up. I hope y'all have fun with this. Um, damn, we've only gone through two minutes and 40 seconds of this. We still got a little bit ways to go, so next time I'm going to try to shut up more. But I hope you take a lot of value from the things that I say when I pause and I start explaining shit. I hope you guys are learning. Um, give me a big thumbs up if you like this. Make sure to comment and subscribe.
and share this with your boys, man. If you feel like your boys suck at gaming and you need somebody to go out with so they can game with you and talk to girls with you, shit, show them this. Both of y'all watch this, learn, and then go out and practice, man. It's fuck, make it fun. Go out there, do your thing. I that's what that's how I started. All right, y'all. Hey, thanks for joining me. The Grizz Cave, Big Grizz, sending out deuces.